Good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana. And our shop is open at this time by appointment only. So please get a pencil and paper ready. We're going to show you our email address in a minute. This morning's video is another edition of Half Price Thursday. Half Price Thursday, where we pull items out of the shop for storage. And we put them on a table outside this room, and everything will be sold for one half the price that's marked on it. So if you're ready, we're going to show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And the email address is the letter K C A R L I S L at A T T dot N E T. And there is no E on the end of Carlisle on that email address. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of our shop. We have 18 cases and 9 tables, chock full of Heise glassware. We do buy Heise, one piece or an entire collection. So if you know someone that has any Heise for sale, please have them get in contact with us and maybe we can buy it. For this morning's video, we can combine several weeks of videos so we're not sending you maybe a box with just a salt cellar in it. We can put several pieces in that box before you ship it. we ship it to you. So if you're ready, Sarah and I are going to back out of this room and we're going to give you a preview of what is on the table this morning. Morning, welcome to another edition of Half Price Thursday. You know the routine. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of what's on the table this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. If you don't have our phone number, you have to do is send us an email, and we will send you our phone number so you can start texting us. And at the end of the video, I'm going to promote the three shows that we're going to be going to in June. But right now, let's get started with Half Price Thursday. What have we got, Sarah? First, we have a pair of aristocrat, about seven and a half inches tall. They're both marked at the top, and they're $35 for the pair. And when we say something's like $35, the price she just quoted you, you get them for half of that. I believe that's $17.50. Here we have a single row slash water bottle, clean on the inside, $65. Next is we have a Papa Elephant. It's been in a fight with a tiger. It has a chunk there and a big bruise and chunk there, but it's only $15. $15, $7 and a half, use it for a doorstop. Here we have some colonial plates. How big are they, Sarah? Seven and a half. They're seven and a half inches. Four of them for twenty dollars. Good condition. Here we have a syrup. It's been cut. It has on the handle. It has a flower. It's marked on both sides. It's also cut on the spout. It's in good condition. It's thirty dollars. Next item we have four beaded panel and sunburst punch cups, and the price on those is twenty five dollars for all four. We have diamond and. Honey and diamond. diamond point punch cup, just one available, and it's twenty dollars. A little bit harder to find. Here we have a Risley two-part conserve, and it's fifteen dollars. Marked twice on the inside of it. There. Next, we have a pair of crystalite block candle holders, and they are fifty-five dollars. <laughs> they're they're five dollars and fifty cents for the pair, folks. Not fifty-five. Okay, here we have a New Era Cordial. has a frosted stem on it. There's a little bitty nick on the stem, but the, the, the nick is underneath the frosting, which means this piece was actually chipped before they frosted it. Here you go, $35. Next, we have a Narrow Flute Cruet. Good condition, marked at the top right there, and it's only $45. And I believe that's a six-ounce size. Puritan, Burgundies or wine. Not sure what they are. There's four of them, $15. Next is a bust off. It's Jamestown stem. It's a saucer champagne. What they did is what they normally do is they break this part off and that's how they get the stemware. But this is a good little piece of history and it's only $20. Warwick, Horn of Plenty, 7 inch face, Sahara, $125. Flamingo, Russian Parfait. We have six available and they're $25 each. Sometimes you see those with a handle on them. Here we have a Carcasson iced tea ambassador etching on it. One available, $35. Next we have a creamer and sugar. It has a nice floral cutting on it. A little bit of roughness around the inside and on the bottom, but it's $20. For the pair. Here we have a cup and a saucer. Empress Old Colony etched, $12.50. How many, Sarah? Four available. Four available. Next, we have an old sandwich butter pat. It's in crystal, but it looks like the little dots have been frosted. It's $20. Here we have three pieces of Greek key. We have a little nappy. We have a burgundy. Let's see the chip right there on the top of it. And then we have one of these flared sodas. And boy, these are really tough to get. 
You can't hardly see it, but it's right there on the edge. And all three pieces are $20. Next, we have an orchid dolphin footed ice bucket. No handle. One of the handles does look like it's been pushed, pushed in a little in, bit when it was hot. And it's $95. Rose, 14 inch torque plate, 20 bucks. Does have wear on it. We have a rose crimped bowl, $20. Here we have a, I think it's a medium flat panel cheese and cracker marked inside the top and the price on it is $65 before the discount. Next we have a pair of Pluto Flamingo candle holders and for the pair it's $35. How about the bases? Are they the same size, Sarah? Same size bases. You want to check those out, folks. Here we have a beaded swag souvenir of saratoga new york it's 15 dollars, and it says to mrs somebody from bb barnum or something like that by a and it's got a date on it of 1903 1903 is 15 dollars. next we have an hca paperweight from 1896 celebrating the 100 years and it has a little cover with it it's two dollars here we have a colonial puff box windsor cutting there on the top of it and it's 35 dollars Here's a peerless toothpick holder, good condition, $10. Here's a twist, three corn, three, three sided mint dish, and it's $5. And crystal, don't hold ever see them in crystal. Crystallite short stem flower vase, it's $25. It is not a ladies spittoon, ladies don't spit. All right, here we have a crystallite footed cigarette holder marked in the center of the bottom, $10. Here's a marigold twist floral bowl. It does have a little bit of crazing. It's $35. Here's a Lariat fan vase. Turn it sideways there, Sarah. So see, it's a fan vase. And this time they frosted the little loops on it. A little bit unusual. See that frosting on there? 20 bucks. Here's a goblet. I don't know what the pattern is. Some colonial pattern. And it's $8. Just one of them. And then we have two of these wines for $10. For both of them. Here, I think this is a sugar bowl without a lid. Anyway, it's 10 bucks. A single Warwick Horn of Plenty candle holder. Does have a repair on the foot somewhere and it's only $2. Here's a Ridgely Ashtray. Good condition. Dollar. $2. Oh, is it $2? We'll sell it for 50 cents. <laughs> Say it's a dollar. Uh, here, here we have two narrow flute footed nut cups. One of them is cupped up and the other one is flared out. What's the price, Sarah? Five dollars each. Five dollars each. Both of them marked with a diamond H. A fern two part mayo marked on the bottom with orchid etch, eight dollars. Eight dollars? Any repairs or anything on that? The bottom has a little roughness. Little roughness, eight bucks, four dollars after discount, folks. Can't go wrong with that. Here we have a plantation creamer and sugar, and the price on that's fifteen dollars for the pair. Here we have a plain band butter, and I believe it's in good condition, and it's thirty dollars. Get your ruler out, Sarah. Here we have a single Old Williamsburg candelabra, and it's fifty-five dollars. What's how tall is it? Gotta get the ruler. Made about 12 inches tall. They made those in several different sizes. The boba shea has a chip on it. Oh yes, the boba shea does have a chip going down the side of it. Next we have three salt cellars. We have one of the Puritan ones that's been cut around the edge and it's $8. We have a Revere in crystal, $10. And then a tulip one for $8. And it looks like we have a, oh boy, look at there folks, it's crazy. Anyway, it's a twist. Marigold plate, 10 bucks. 20th century Don Sherbert, $25. Here's a twist mustard and cover. On top of the finial, there's a little bitty chip there someplace on it, $30. And the last piece is this set, Coronation Pitcher. Has a nice little floor decoration on it. It has six little cups with it. They're $125, and one of these cups does have a repair on the rim but it has the same decoration and cutting on it. Nice little orange juice set. Okay, Sarah's gonna put the cards down here for these three shows we're gonna be attending. 
And the first show is going to be the Fostoria Show. It is going to be June 9th, 10th, and 11th. On that preview, it says $20 to get in on a preview. I've been told that you can come there just for Friday night, and it's only going to be $10 a person. This is a great show. Chuck Hill runs it. They've been doing this show for a number of years. They've got full of dealers. It'll be a wide variety of glass in this show. Next one, it's our Heisen Show. It's coming up Friday, June 16th from 1 to 7, and Saturday, June 17th from 10 to 2. Look at there, folks. We're not gouging you to get in. You can spend all your money on glass, not on admission. It's free admission. This is going to be a great show. It's going to be at the GMP Union Hall, Newark, Ohio. Hope to see you there. And the last show is going to be the Cambridge Show. They're going to have a show on uh, Friday, June 23rd, and Saturday, June 24th, Friday. The show's from 1 to 5. Everybody, I mean everybody can get in this show for $5 per person. You don't have to register for the convention, and you don't have to be a Cambridge member. You just come, plop down your 5 bucks, and you get in. This is a great show. It's sold out again this year. They're going to have a wide variety of glass. Always a well-run show. And then on Saturday morning, it's the Glass Dash. That's where we're going to be set up. The dealers come in, and at 7 o'clock, they let the customers come in, and the dealers start unwrapping at 7 o'clock. And you'll see why they call it the Glass Dash if you attend this show. So there's three good shows. We recommend all three of them. Now we're going to show you something that we're going to be bringing to convention to our show. There's a pair of 15-inch aristocrat candle holders. I'm going to zoom in because these have a very, very elaborate cutting all over them. And the cutting's all been polished to clear. Perfect pair. They come out of our collection every week. We're going to show you something we're pulling out of our collection to take to this Heisey show that we're going to be doing. So that's all it is for today. So, hey, remember everybody, we don't want to make any money. We just love to sell Heisey glassware.